This is where it begins. Where thousands of Salvadorans each year start their trek north to the United States in search of a better life. Many have little choice. They'd leave to survive. The northern region of El Salvador is the poorest part of the country, an area scarred by the Civil War of the 1980s, where jobs are scarce and people struggle to make $5 a day. The Salvadoran government was determined to change things here and in 2008 approached the United States and the American aid agency, the Millennium Challenge Corporation. One of the things we looked at, is there a logic for investing in this part of the country? Can we improve the conditions there so that instead of wanting to leave, people actually can stay there and have a, a good livelihood? Farming has been the predominant way of life in this region. Antiquated techniques yielding modest results, usually small quantities of beans and corn. This new project introduces thousands of farmers to innovation. They have a real opportunity to make a change in their lives and their uh, quality of life. It is called the Productive Development Project, teaching farmers how to help themselves how to install efficient drip irrigation systems, how to cover their crops to protect against pests, how to use new, more effective fertilizers and better planting techniques. These same farmers are now producing much more profitable crops, cilantro and radishes, green onions and cabbage, avocado and tomatoes. These are hard-working people, and what we're doing now is helping them to get what they deserve. That means helping them pool their resources to build collection centers where their produce is washed and sorted and loaded onto refrigerated trucks. It means helping farmers create their own company and big enough that they can now supply the large supermarket chains, reducing the country's dependence on imported fruits and vegetables. For the last three years, these pineapples we've been importing from Costa Rica and Guatemala. This pineapple's from El Salvador. This pineapple got here quicker and at a cheaper price. The national pride is unmistakable. The produce clearly marked 100% Salvadoran. Consumers here are now paying less, and farmers are making more. Yes, this is a dream. We never imagined this. After just two years, Elmer Cardoza has more than doubled his income enough to build a new home and buy a new truck. All the result, he says, of support from this project. Yes, it's good. I'm grateful. Thank you very much. They helped me a lot. In turn, Cardoza has been able to hire four full-time workers. In all, this project has already created 5,000 new jobs. And with new opportunities at home, there's now less reason to leave. It's prompted at least one Salvadoran to come back. Alexander Gomez was a roofer in Waltham, Massachusetts, until his father called from El Salvador, describing how much things had improved on the family farm. I see a better future. There are jobs here and you can earn more money. This project is helping El Salvador. Will be an impact that we will have for all our life in our country. In 2012, the American assistance comes to an end. The project to be handed over to these farmers and their successful new business. To continue and grow. Providing more Salvadorans with a better life. At home.